You hear that? That's the awkward silence of a family dinner after you just got caught vaping. Most vapes contain high levels of nicotine and disappointment. <sighs> Brought to you by The Real Cost and the FDA. Loki, the trickster god, has betrayed you. Find him. And vengeance shall be yours. Explore vast and mysterious realms. And battle gods and monsters. Enter Chaos, Asgard's Wrath 2. Available now, only on MetaQuest. Learn more at asgardswrath2.com. See child safety guidance online. Accounts for 10 plus. Asgard's Wrath 2 is for ages 17 plus. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, so, the question that I got for you guys, is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 the worst Call of Duty game of all time? Because I feel like that they shortchanged us. You know, like, there's many things that's wrong with this game, and there's many things that's wrong with the Call of Duty franchise right now, and there are many things wrong with Activision. So it leaves me with the next question, Activision. How long do you guys think you got before you release that the worst, like, a Call of Duty worse than Modern Warfare 3? Like, how long do you guys think you got? Like, how many Call of Duty games do you guys think that you can release until people are like, we're fed up, we're not playing this game no more, I'm done, moving on to something else. Oh, there's Fortnite. Oh, there's Apex. Oh, there's Battle Bay. Oh, there's... Battlefield 2042. Oh, there's all these different games that I can play, but you best believe I'm not going to be spending $70 every year for DLCs. That's literally what Modern Warfare 3 was. It's a DLC. It's just a, a couple of new things added. And that's uh, some like where you had different maps and zombies. That's it. In, in a, in a four-hour uh, campaign. That's not a Call of Duty game, bruh. That is not a Call of Duty game. The fact, the fact that DLCs have became so expensive, because that's literally what Call of Duty is. It's a DLC. They got so to explain to you guys what's going on for the for the non-gamers out there, what's going on with Call of Duty right now. So what they got going on, instead of having it where it's separate games, now they've decided to just compile uh, up like the last either two or three Call of Duty games into one file so they just got this game called call of duty there's like no modern warfare no black ops nothing at the end of it it's just called call of duty and yes they do have it where there's uh the last two modern warfare games i i can't remember if they added uh vanguard or if they got any other call of duty but i just know that they got like the last two modern warfare games which is two and uh three and the thing is, is this, you know, with 2, I have an issue with 2, and I think a lot of y'all know my issue with 2, is that it doesn't work properly on my PC. So, my question is, is like, when are you going to fix people, at least either fix their game, or give them their money back? But it just don't make no sense to me, where it's like, you guys are working on these games. So, this is what I honestly think. I think they work on the game for six months. If they can't figure out what's um, what's wrong with the game, then that's when they spend the next six months working on another Call of Duty game. And it's like, that's not enough time to work on a video game. Six months is not enough time. And when you see developers, and it makes you appreciate developers when they delay their games, and then when they do come out with the game, the game is good. I know there have been times where uh, developers have delayed games and the game still came out bad, but and that just shows where it's like you guys aren't working on the game like how you should be working on the game. Because that don't make no sense to me, where it's like you'll delay a game, you'll spend all this time on it just for the game to come out, and it's not good. So and I and I know like there'll be people at Activision that that will literally fight until death on defending this game, making it seem like that this is the best Call of Duty game. They have it on the back. Let, let me just show you, or not well show you guys. Let me just read out the cover on or the back cover. They say the best the funny thing is, they don't say anything about the game itself. They just talk about Call of Duty in whole. And they're yeah, I'm like, and so they have the best selling franchise on Xbox. I'm like, see, Call of or Activision, what you guys fail to understand is that it was the old Call of Duties that had us locked in. Modern the original Modern Warfare series, the OG Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3. That's what had us locked in on Call of Duty. Black Ops 1, 2, partially 3, a little bit of 4, 
Cold War was decent. I only favorite thing that really did. Yeah, story. The, well, the story did kind of fall off towards the end, but I have to say, Outbreak it, it did make up for it. That was really the only thing that I did play in uh, um, Call of Duty because multiplayer was broke. Even zombies was broken at sometimes. I'm thinking to myself, like, bruh, how do you expect somebody to have fun with a game that doesn't work properly? You know, it's like, how my thing is this. How do you drive a car that doesn't drive properly? How do you eat food that's not cooked properly? Like, how do you... And my thing is, is this. When all those... The, the examples that I'll name off. Okay, when you go and you buy a house and it's unfinished. Guess what? They finished the house. But they're not going to have it where it's like, oh, well, since you already done bought the house, you're just going to have to wait. Yeah, we'll come by at some point in time and then, you know, add the windows. But that's what they're advertising it on. They're, they're, they'll are advertise it. Yeah, they'll show you the little house flyer showing you that this house is fully built and all this other stuff. Then when you actually go there, windows is missing. Paint House hasn't even been painted yet. Front door, only half of it is there. Garage. It, it like where is it like the garage it's there's a space for the garage but it doesn't exist so it's like there's just all these things that's missing with the house and it's like fam i want to buy this house when it's fully built i don't want to buy this house when it's halfway built yeah if it's a fixer up or any of that stuff then that's what in to explain that in gaming you know terminology and stuff that's what you call early access so is call of duty an early access game is that a game that's in beta is that a game that's that's still in the works because if this is your guys' finished product, this has to be the worst finished product that I've seen in my whole life. And then and then it's like when you see how they're, they'll charge. So I bought the game. I bought Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And what upsets me about it is that they're talking about um, a cross-gen uh, bundle or whatever. Yeah, it's like the yeah the cross um, the uh, cross-gen bundle. And it comes with the Xbox One version and the Xbox Series X version. So to explain to you guys my gaming situation, I have a PC, a PlayStation 5, a Xbox Series X, a Nintendo Switch, and one uh, Asus ROG Ally. So I don't have no Xbox One. Why are you giving me... Uh, and the, the crazy thing about it, they're not even giving you a code or a copy to play Modern Warfare uh, 3 on the Xbox One. But my thing is, is this. If I have the latest console, right? I have the latest console. I no longer need the old console. Especially when the old console does this... Or the new console does the same exact thing as the old console. Why would I have the old console? Why would I have an Xbox One? What, why, why does that even make any sense? Literally, all the games that you can play... No, the crazy thing about it is that with the Xbox Series X, they're encouraging people to go out and buy this because you can play more games on the Xbox Series X. For an example, Forza uh, Motorsport, they have it on there where you have to... So, like, if you got the Xbox Game Pass, you can download the game on your Xbox Series X. You don't have to stream the game. But on the Xbox One, you have to stream the game. You can't download the game. So you got more playing options on the Xbox Series X. Again, with my question, why would I own an Xbox One if I literally can do... All that stuff on the Xbox One and some on the Xbox Series X. If if maybe if they had it where instead of you guys you uh, giving me what uh, console I'm gonna play it on, how about you give me the choice to choose what other console I would like to play the uh, game on? Cause me, I would have chose PC. But if I don't have a PC and I just got consoles, then I would have chose the PlayStation. But it don't make no sense to me where it's like I'm spending. An extra ten dollars. It's either knock off the ten dollars, sell me the game, and or have it where I choose what console or what platform I want to play it on. But that don't even make no sense to me. Where it's like you're giving me something that I don't need. That that's like that's like if okay. So back to this um house example. What's something inside of a house that you? That's like putting a house inside of a house. I don't need a house inside. Of, I already have the house right there why are you putting a house inside of a house that don't make no sense i feel like a house inside the house though would would kind of be a little bit cool though oh they should have it where it's like it, it's like so if the house is big enough then they put it like in the middle and then they have like a downstairs thing that kind of like leads to a bit that's actually sick Okay, maybe that's a bad example, but because you when you think about it, like the vision that I have, a house inside of a house, a waste of space, 
but it does look cool though. Like I, I, I'm telling you, if there is ever a day, if there is ever a day where I'm playing The Sims or something, I'm gonna try to recreate the vision that I have in my head. I wonder if they have it where you can have basements in the game. I feel like they should. I don't know. But anyways, getting back to talking on Call of Duty. All right, we're not talking on The Sims. The Sims is okay. They haven't released the Sims. When was the last? The last Sims that they released was The Sims 4, and that came out. Let me open up Google real quick. They're actually taking their time, and they're all like, well, when, when we get the chance to work on that game, we will. Until then, we're not releasing any more uh, Sims games. But The Sims, what was it, 2016, 2018? It came out some time ago. I can't remember exactly. What, 2014, actually uh, long before, almost 10 years ago. And then what's crazy is that they have it now where you can play the game for free. So my, my thing is, is this. You know, it trips me out how there's developers out there, especially developer, bro, especially developers like the people behind the game Warframe, and they have it set up where it's like, you don't have to put no money into that game unless you want to get some cosmetic stuff, that's about it. But gameplay, what you, the people uh, downloaded the game for, all of that stuff for free. Multiplayer, free. The main story or uh, the original story in the game, free. The new story that they added to the game, free. Most likely some other stuff. If, honestly, if they were to come out with a DLC and they're all like, hey, you know, we're... Uh, and I feel like they would have a legitimate reason on why they would even charge money for a DLC. But I feel like they'll... if Even if they were to say something like, hey, we're low on funds. We're j you know, we just want to use this money to make the game better. I genuinely would believe them. I genuinely would believe them. But I feel that what they would do, they'll probably charge like $15 for a DLC, but literally give you a brand spanking new video game. Not even that. They'll probably give you a new video game with a bunch of cosmetics, with a bunch of um weapons, with a bunch of other stuff in there, like little uh, secondary. They'll probably give you literally everything that you don't worked for throughout the years of that game existing. They'll probably not give you all the content, but I think they have came out with like bundles of that game and stuff, but at least the bundles make sense. But other than that, you don't have to even pay for that game. You don't have to, you know, there's nothing. They, they have that option. If you want to buy stuff, you very well can buy stuff. But other than that, you don't have to buy stuff. You don't have to buy nothing in that game. So it, it confuses me on how you'll charge, talking on Activision and Call of Duty, you're charging people money. And I'm like, in, in the current state that Call of Duty is in right now, you guys, y'all released Modern Warfare, the 2019 version. I'll give you guys that. You guys did raise the bar when it came to um, the Call of Duty games. But then that uh, very next year, y'all came out with Black Ops Cold War. Didn't hit like how Modern Warfare hit hit. Then the year after, you came out with Vanguard. No reason for that game to even come out. That game, like, literally, nobody plays that game. And that's sad. That's sad. I feel like people will only play that game because they feel sorry for it or because they want to play the story and see, you know, how that story went about. Maybe play a little bit of zombies. I know I played my fair share of zombies, but other than that, game wasn't all that good. I felt like between Vanguard and Modern Warfare 3, those are probably the two Call of Duty games where I felt like I ain't get nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because... From Modern Warfare all the way up until now, you guys only want to work on uh, Warzone. And my thing is, is this. It's like, for the person that plays the campaign, what makes you think they're going to stop playing the campaign because Warzone is available? I don't want to play Warzone. I want to play campaign. For the person that wants to play multiplayer, you're forcing literally the multiplayer community to go over and play Warzone. I don't want to play Warzone. I want to play the multiplayer mo um, modes. I want to play that. And I feel like they're putting less and less modes in the game. It's like, fam, they only got like three modes, I believe. They got, I think they do still have Team Deathmatch, but then they got like some other modes in there. They got Free For, I think they got Team Deathmatch. They got Free For All. And I think they got like a, a battle mode or something like that. And I'm thinking to myself, like, bro, what is, maybe I'm just missing it. Maybe I'm just missing it. But the thing is, is this, like I said, I want to play multiplayer. I shouldn't have to play um, Warzone. Uh, zombies. It was like they were trying to recreate uh, Outbreak, but they just went all wrong about it. 
And I'm thinking to myself, like, bruh, I, I don't know what you guys got going on, but it's like, fam, you know, if you guys are going to be spending this time working on video games, claiming you doing all these different things, and then when the game comes out, it's not good. That's what I mean by you guys need to take a break. Because that is, like, to me, my thing is, is this. If I'm coming out with content and the content is unfinished, I'm out here. No, because this is pretty much what, in, in Call of Duty's terms, this is what I would do. I would release, I will claim that a video is coming out on this day. I'm advertising that the video is coming out on this day. When I'm uploading the video, all you guys get is the intro and the outro. That's it. And then I'm like, oh, next week I'll upload this part. But you're going to have to pay for that. And then the week after, I'm going to upload this part, and you're going to have to pay double for that part. Do you think I would be a successful content creator if I was charging people to watch a video piece by piece? No, I wouldn't. I know I wouldn't be a successful content creator. So what makes you think that your game is successful because you got some people streaming it on Twitch, some people playing it on YouTube, but is it the same community that's playing it like how they were playing it back in the day? No. That community, I fam, my thing is this. The last I feel like that me and my friends, we kind of had like our one last like hoorah and stuff. One like one like one last time of playing Call of Duty together. And eventually it got to a point where it was like we wasn't even playing the game no more. And it was uh last it was Modern Warfare 2. We had like that one last time where we all just stayed up one night and just played the game. After that, yeah, a lot of us, we, yeah, we, we're older and stuff. We got, some of us got kids and things. So, of course, you know, we, but I mean, I'm still saying, I'm saying, you know, you'll still see where it's like people, they'd be like, oh, you know what? It's like, I'm be up on the game and stuff. But I'm like, fam, I'm telling you, it doesn't hit like how it did back when I was a kid. When I was a kid, bruh, I, bro, I remember when playing Black Ops for the first time and my friend teaching me how to quick, um, quick scope people. I, bro, I remember sitting down playing hours upon hours upon hours of Nuketown. I'm trying to think of some other things. Oh, zombies, bro, that couldn't, I, I'm telling you, I would go over to a friend's house to play zombies. Bro, that's how zombies was for me. What are some other things? Warzone, all that stuff, bro. I'm saying I'll play Fortnite if I need to play a Battle Royale game. But what Call of Duty needs to do or what Activision needs to do, you guys need to take a break. Because it don't make no sense to after time, after time, after time, release a Call of Duty just for the game to get like one, two, maybe three stars. But you guys are nowhere near, uh, especially with this last one, you guys are nowhere near getting a, uh, um, a four or five star game. Let's just see what the ratings are for this new one on steam hold on for a second i gotta like add in my birthday stuff and all that um dang it's like you know you getting old when you gotta scroll down a little and all that stuff it was it before it was just right there mostly negative mostly negative that's where your guys's game is at do you want that to be the rest of your guys's franchise because i'm saying that's the route that you're heading down so anyways, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching um, and or listening. Make sure you stay tuned for the next episode. Like, subscribe if you're viewing this on YouTube. Follow or subscribe if you're viewing this on a podcast streaming service. Uh, make sure you follow me across all social media platforms at Boss. Thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace.